Nick? I'll do it. You fucking do it. I'm fucking yeah, working fucking over here. Working over here. So I'm right. working. I don't got time to fucking clap your fucking feathers. In the pit, episode 22. Hey, everybody. Look at the fucking ostrich. He got fucking his feathers manicured. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> Lions, go Round get him. What about the barber? Courtesy of the barber, Trowell over there. He did a great job. We literally just did it in the bathroom. Fresh five, cuts on the daily. Five minutes ago, come by. Actually, don't because of Corona, but. Yeah, don't. And if you do, we're 100% <laughs> charging your ass a fucking fee and a more fee. Hefty fee. Hefty fee. Fri- uh, it's uh, September 11th. Yeah. Sad day in the history of this country. Fuck a shot up in Laden. Uh, one more silence. One more silence. Um, we have advice today. That's at the end. Let's Looking go. Looking forward to it. Yeah, looking forward to it. Again, I want to be loud and clear before he reads the advice. If these end up being questions, Will and myself will plead the fifth. Yes. We don't have to say shit. There are designated times for questions. Right. This is not one of them. One of those times is TikTok Live tonight at 4 p.m. We got a lot of baseball to talk about today. First, I want us to go back to our Trevor Bauer conversation because I have more on it. Gee Louise, what else we got to talk about? The Cubs were like trash talking him, and then he just like went off, and so he just talks about this in his post game. So what were the Cubs trash yeah, talking him about? about? I mean, fucking tell us what it's about. For we watch a fucking I mean shit. I'm not gonna go to a movie theater if I ever am allowed to go back in these fucking so, times and fucking walking blindfold, blind, not knowing what the movie's about. All right, so I'll actually tell you what. It was there's about. a movie trailer about. Tell me the trailer of the conversation. All right, so a little back, there isn't really much of a backstory besides for the fact that the Cubs just like to trash talk. Yeah, I mean, I they got a bunch like of a, bitches on that team. Yeah, so I guess it's just, Dakota was just telling me that it's just like a known thing, that they're like one of the teams. How like, Dakota said like a lot of teams that he plays on and stuff, like, like they get Whoa. bored, they get bored and he, they just like, like to trash talk. Did I hear that correctly? The teams that Dakota plays on? <laughs> yeah. Like, the summer league teams or whatever? Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about, like, fucking pro shows. Like, all right, who's fucking Hollywood now, buddy? What? He does, he's not in the league. All right, keep your story going. Hey, you <laughs> fucking... The, hey, I'm just saying. Middle end. I thought going. Bauer was absolutely shoving. Yes. So we're going to get to that part. So, um... The, <laughs> so I guess Dakota was just saying the Cubs are, like, one of those teams in the MLB where they just like to trash, talk trash a lot and just, like, push like the other team's buttons and all that stuff. So they were clearly doing that to Trevor Bauer in the beginning, and they were still doing that after. He just, like, went off on them, and this is what he was saying in his post game. Right. Normally when they get behind, they shut up real quick. So I really got to give them props. I mean, even even when I got taken out, they are yelling bye at me. So I give them a nice little wave and, uh, and some other stuff because – it was impressive that you can you can chirp at someone after you shoved it up your ass for seven and two thirds innings. Respect, but let it the fuck go. Fucking yeah. just go back to playing baseball. Please. Don't fucking waste your energy on this fucking bullshit. Everybody's just wanting the trash talk. Fucking let your fucking actions do the fucking talking. Everyone's got something to say. No one's got something to say. Everybody can fucking say some on an email and a text. But when you get the motherfucker on the phone, they're fucking kissing your ass. It was there was a lot of high scoring games. So the Brewers on Wednesday won 19 to zero. Against the Braves hope. won 29 to nine. Wow. Against hope. Against who? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. The Rangers won. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the Braves beat the Marlins, 29 to nine, and the Tigers. I mean, the Brewers beat the Tigers. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> but this brought up an interesting um, conversation. Do you think it has to do with like? all the different pitchers that are being in there or just the corona season for all these like high scoring games or what do you think it is? I just think it's the fact that some teams suck and some teams are good. Well I mean they're trying to fit so many games in such a short window. Yeah. That I think that it, it does have something to do with it. Like they're running through pitchers. You can't like your rotation gets messed up if you have multiple double double headers in a week. Yeah. Like you're throwing guys, throwing position players. I saw a stat that said this this season has the most amount of pitchers of all time. Most amount of pitchers used. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. That and the balls could be juiced. You think the balls are juiced? I don't gotta, know. Br- gotta a bring big up topic gotta, last year. Gotta bring up their TV ratings. There ain't no fucking people in the stands. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Manfred's around. 
Oh, there's shady shit going on. Yeah, Did you see the Joe Kelly thing? No. The mural? mural? He went to the mural. He went to it? He went to the mural no and, way. and posed in front of it doing the face. No yeah, way. Yeah, pull it up. Hilarious. There he is. Kershaw says something. Oh, yeah, do you think that... It's not that real baseball I've, with this fucking extra innings rule, which, again, Big Nick had this oh, topic. Think, oh, it's fucking funny Kershaw that I saying? fucking mentioned about this. What? I fucking mentioned this. The Kershaw comment? Yes! I said that it's not real baseball. I had a conversation about this on one of our YouTube shows. You never said that. Check the tape. Check the tape. I, I checked the tape. I fucking right, said Joey, it. Joey doesn't tape. have the fuck. Hey, actually, you might have the tape. You definitely have the tape. And don't, <laughs> and don't put something in there that said Big Nick didn't fucking talk about it because I fucking did. It's funny how I fucking, everything I say is coming to, to, coming to light. It's funny. Right. I mean, you're fucking, it's stupid if you don't. Yeah, Why seriously. do you think Will's so much smarter? Because he pays attention. Why do you think you haven't gotten nowhere? Because you won't pay attention. I'm fucking speaking right in front of you. Your fucking head's in your phone. Just like Odell fucking ain't getting pooped on. You see the Red Sox one yesterday? They wow. did. Bobby Dahlbeck. Time to trade him. Another home run. Five games in a row. The same thing happened with Mike Chavis his first time coming up, and then they figure you out, and then you fucking suck. High fastball. Ooh, they beat the That's Rays? That's a big one. Yeah, it's a big win. Wow. Don't there. call it a comeback. Ooh, the Chiefs won. So, yeah, Nick, you were wrong. Did you Ooh. see any Whoa, idea? whoa, whoa, whoa. I was wrong? Oh. I called the fucking spread. Yeah, he called the spread. Oh, you I, said Chiefs? I took Houston. I said uh-huh. Chiefs. Right. Apology accepted, phone dicker. I fucking told you right now, fucking Celtics are winning game seven. All right. Celtics, by five. Kemba Walker, 25 plus points. Celtics, figure yourselves out one time. Wake up today, fucking want to fucking kill somebody, and fucking kill the Raptors, please. Are you going to watch the game? Um, there's a bear shit in the woods. Yeah. All right. It's game fucking seven. You're not going to watch it? I'm going to watch it. Joe, you're going to watch the game tonight. Yes, if I I need if I remember to, and they don't, they you might. Don't say that. Remembering. You remember? Like wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Kershaw said it's not real baseball, but it's fine for this year, and I hope we never do it again. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's fine for this the year? Seven innings stuff, too. I mean, yeah, seven just... innings crap. Start a guy at second base crap. Little league crap. Why don't we just fucking give everybody six outs an inning and fucking give them six balls? Fucking everybody's so soft. You want to know why everybody's so fucking soft like a snail? Because everybody fucking just runs in their shell or stick their head in the fucking sand. You want to hear what Dave Roberts had to say? He said, I didn't know how it was going to play out and how it was going to be received, but as we've had some runs with it, I really like it. Yeah. I, think, I think it really shortens the game. It adds strategy for the fans, the managers, and players. Add strategy for the fans. Huh? Add, strategies, yeah. add strategies for the fans? He didn't say that. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. I literally am reading a quote for quote. Read yeah. it again. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. I'll read it again. I'll Please read it again. Don't. I didn't know how it was going to play out and how it was going to be received. But as we've had some runs with it, I really like it, Robert said. That's not- I think it really shortens the game. It adds strategy for the fans, what does that mean? the managers, and the players. What are the fans strategizing? <laughs> yeah, what are they st- <laughs> Let me tell you something. Fans call shit after the play. They don't call it before the play. Monday Everybody always goes, why did they do not do this? Why did they not take him out earlier? Why did they do this? Everybody fucking bitches at the fucking coaches because they fucking say, you should have done this and you that. There's fucking parents on my fucking teams that fucking Snay's coach and Snay always goes all the time. You fuckers always fucking pick the call after it happens. I have to pick it before it happens. Shout out to Snay. Shout out to Snaggy. 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 And uh, he went on to say, I think it's, pre- I think it's playing out pretty well. And our guys have done a really good job in the situation. I like it permanently. I don't like it for the postseason. This is just a preposterous what? quote. I li- whoa, 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 whoa. Permanently, but not, not for the, the postseason. post-season. Yeah. Is this guy, what is he saying? Babysitter. I yeah. think he's following Babysitter. Babysitter. Pretty, sure, pretty sure I fucking called that one too. All right. That's not what a real manager says. You play by the same rules in the regular season you do in the playoffs. But What's the, the difference? What's your predictions for the Patriots game on Sunday? I'm going 24-17, close game. Patriots. 24-17. Actually, no, 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 timeout, That's timeout. No, 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 no. I, well, I got to go actually a little higher than that. I had Cam Newton going for four touchdowns. 28-17. Cam Newton, four, four touchdowns Cam on Newton, the record. Cam Newton, four touchdowns. Wow, all right. And again, I want to be loud and clear. His four touchdowns, one of them can be a rushing touchdown. I said touchdowns. All so right. it doesn't have to be throwing touchdowns. It could be rushing touchdowns, I'm going to go uh, 21-10. Uh-huh. New England. 
I was, I was about to say 21-7. You still going to say it? Yeah, 21-7. <laughs> okay. All right. Advice Friday. Advice Friday. We got we some got good some ones. Submissions. We got some submissions. We got Wyatt and Stacy Softball 38. Stacy Softball 38. All right. All right. What's your advice, Stacy? No, well, you want to start with Wyatt first? Oh, okay, yeah. I thought that was all, like, all, or. all one for some reason. Okay. All right. Wyatt says, how do I get my crush to like me? <laughs> I got one for him. I got one for him. <laughs> I, got, I got one for him. All right. I got one for him. All right. Wyatt, I don't know what you look like. And maybe you maybe you are in shape. Maybe you're not. I don't know. I'm not saying that this is everything, but I will say this. Get in the gym <laughs> and get some abs. <laughs> The ladies like the curls. Ladies like the curls, and they fucking love sleeping on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my two cents would be: don't be a uh, what do we call it? Phone dick. Don't be don't a be slap a, dick. Don't be a phone dick. Don't be a phone dick. Don't be a phone dick. You got something to say, man up. Approach him or her. <laughs> hey, you gotta you got keep political. Gotta, gotta, keep, be, gotta be politically. Gotta correct. be politically yeah. correct. Um, yeah. and I don't think it uh. It hurts to tell somebody how you feel. I like that. Hey, and you know what? And if she rejects you or he rejects you, guess what? On to the next one. Her loss or his loss, your gain. Because if she or he says no, guess what? You're going to be better for it. And you want to know why you're going to be better for it? Because she turned you down and you're a good guy. And she don't see it or he don't see it. So that's their loss, not yours. Go to the next one and pick up the next fish in the sea. And if that one doesn't work, go to the next fish. And then the next one. And then eventually, you'll get a nice fish with some saute on it, and you'll eat that shit up for the rest of your life. <laughs> Great question, Wyatt, and I appreciate you chiming in. Yeah, I would Let just... us know how it goes. Yeah, keep us updated. Get in the gym too, buddy. That doesn't necessarily hurt. And oh, by the way, you need wood? You know where to order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a Valentine's Day gift. Like, perfect. But I would just say, yeah, whatever happens, happens. And, like, Let it happen. Yeah. I mean, no need to be nervous because, like, there's a, you can always just go on to the next one, you know? That's good advice. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next question. Advice. Uh, next right. advice. Stacy Softball 38. Stacy. Stacy Softball. What's going on? Buddy. She says... <laughs> I am secretly dating my brother's best friend. Oh, boy. He just committed to Clemson for football, but I am staying in Boston for community college. He wants to give up football for me and stay. What should I do? Uh, All right. Um, All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. We talking about the same Clemson? We talking about Clemson <laughs> University or Clemson fucking State? Clemson <laughs> University. He wants to get, stop Stacey. playing football to... To, to, to see her more. Yeah. Stacy. And stay and go to community college in Boston at like Bunker Hill or something. Or uh, maybe he could go to UMass. Right, first of all, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we, you we're, can play we're, under, at we're underlining some of this. You can play at Clemson. You can play at BC. Oh, maybe he could play at BC. But you don't. You don't. You're going to Clemson. If you go to Clemson, you can get fucking drafted. You realize if you can play you at can Clemson. You get drafted at BC. Um, your chances are a lot better what at fucking love? Clemson. What about BC's love? A national They're contender. in love. What? Me Clemson. I mean Clemson. <laughs> what? Definitely not BC. Definitely not BC. <laughs> but they're in Almost love. Almost had to check your Kool-Aid temperature on that one. <laughs> Don't you think you should, they should put love at the top? Casey. Love conquers. If this kid's got a dream to play at Clemson, you let Go the play. kid play at Clemson. And then you figure out the shit later. Casey, uh -huh. I'm going to tell you something, okay? Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me ask you this. Okay, and then we are going to give you a more thorough answer, Stacey. I'm just saying, I know I'm going off topic here. <laughs> but he's just being fucking an asshole and not letting me t answer your question. So, you had the opportunity of a lifetime in L.A. Yeah. Time out. Okay? L.A.? Just, just hear me out. No, this isn't Clemson. I, I'm talking this about hypothetical. you. hypothetical. I'm talking Hypo about you. Hypothetical? All right. You and Sally have been together for three years. Okay. Right? Is that, is that right? Three years? No. Two years. Two. Okay. Two years. We've yeah, known each other. She said you get the opportunity. Warren Brothers calls you and says they want you to go to L.A. and be 
a director producer for Warren Brothers. Warren Brothers? Warner. Warner. Warner Brothers? Same shit. Same shit. Same shit. <laughs> 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 he knew exactly what he meant. I knew what he meant don't too. Be, don't be a fucking smartass. He's being a phone dick. <laughs> they say, Casey, we're going to pay you millions of dollars a year to produce all these movies a year. You could work with guys like Mark Wahlberg and The Rock and shit like that. The Rock. The Rock. Okay? I want to stay over But little. you... St- I'm, I respect that, but I mean, if you turn down a million dollars, I'll slap you with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I respect that. Go. Anyway, so you tell, but Sally says I want you to stay here because I don't want to do this long distance relationship shit, and I want to be a psychiatric. What's she doing again? <laughs> uh, social worker. Social worker. She wants to be a social worker in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you tell Sally? At Children's. Right. Yeah. And she goes, that's the best hospital to do it at. Yeah. You tell her, you know what you say to Sally? I didn't say, and be very, I'm being very careful when I say this. I'm going to say, Sally, pack your fucking bags. We're going to L.A. I'm getting paid millions of dollars. Okay. Or? Yeah, but there's a risk there. What if he's, Smell you. What if he's not, like, the starting quarterback? Like, what if he's, like, still fighting for a position? Like, there's risk, you know? All right. So if going. Dabo Sweeney comes into your home. And says, we want you to come to Clemson University. What if he's a walk-on? He could be a walk-on. I severely doubt he's a walk-on. You realize the fucking people that they get at that fucking program? Read me the email again. Yeah, read it, read it again. All right. Bear with us, Stacy. I am secretly dating my brother's best friend. we got to get on that topic. Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> come we back get to on that, that fucking we'll topic back first, to okay? That. He just committed to Clemson for football. He committed. He's not a walk-on. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you would <laughs> sign a letter of intent. All right. You got a good point there. But I am staying in Boston for community college. Right. He wants to give up football for me instead. What should I do? You should if how how Stacy, let me let me let me ask you this question. How much do you this love him? Be a real one, isn't it? With all the Stacy stuff that's going on, is this a real thing? Stacy? Stacy. Stacy, how much how <laughs> Stacy, how much do you love what she never put his name in there, right? No. Okay. Stacy, how let's much say, do you love your boyfriend? Let's call him Bobby. I'm going to call him Bobby. What if his name is Joey? Uh, let's call him Joey. What if his name is Timmy? Let's, all right. We don't know what his fucking name is. All right. You might as well call him fucking Nick. All right. Gee, the fucking leash. Whoever your boyfriend's name is, okay, <laughs> let's put it that way. How much do you love him? Because are you guys just getting started? <laughs> or are you in something real? Because let me ask, let me tell you this. <laughs> Playing for Clemson is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Now, I'm not saying you guys break up. But if you guys love each other that much, you guys can make it work. Long-distance relationships suck. happen all the time, even though they suck, but they do what happen. Yeah, but... But here... No, no, shut up! What I'm saying is that if you love him that much, you need to tell him to go play football at Clemson. Because... Let's 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 uh, reverse the course. Let's say that you had the opportunity to do something that you really loved, but he told, but you wanted to, th- you were thinking about quitting because you wanted to be around him more. If he's a good boyfriend or girlfriend, let's just get, let's just cover our bases. He's a boyfriend. You never know. It's a, it's. Oh yeah, it's Clemson. Yeah, Stacey, fuck the yeah, state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, brother's yeah. best friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was trying to just cover my ass over here. Anyway, right. uh, Joey, just cut that little shit out. Anyway. So if he's your boy, if he, your boyfriend tells you, I mean, if you're, if you're, fuck, I just lost track of thought. Sorry, let me go back. So she has, you have an opportunity to do something you really love. If your boyfriend loved you that much, he would tell you, go do it. I think that's great advice. My, one of my takeaways from this email is that this player seems a little skeptical now. She made it seem like he doesn't want to go for her. Is that right, Casey? That's that's how I'm reading it. Say that again. That's how I'm reading. What? He, she's making it sound like he's the one who's hesitant, right? I'm going to tell you something. So what are you saying about that? I'm saying he needs to go to Clemson. Okay. And she needs to convince him. And she needs uh, to convince him to do it. And oh, by the I way. think about it like that. That's wow, what I'm that's saying. good advice, guys. You need, you, need, you, need to have, you need to have him. You need to have him go because that opportunity doesn't happen every day. Yeah. Okay. That opportunity doesn't happen every day. Yeah, and if you love somebody that much, you need to support their dreams. You need to support what they love in life because what you love in life is what carries you in life. Yeah. Like, what if, 
Love will always be there, but football won't. And maybe she could go to a community college down there. Or maybe she just flies down there and sees him. Goes to the games. Goes to the games. Yeah, long distance sucks. The other point I bring is that if he just committed, this is still a ways away. It's four years. It's not temporary. Because he's obviously not not playing this year. What if what if he fucking what if he's a stud and he fucking gets drafted and fucking has life changing money? That's your fault. That might not be what you want to hear, but I already we we made this loud and clear. Big Nick's gonna give you the realest advice he can. Wait, also we need to address the other. We need to address the other part too. I'm gonna address it. So my point is that this kid just committed. Football yeah. season's already started. Yeah. So that means it's at least a year away until he's going to Clemson. Mm. What if y'all my, break up anyway? My first point is, yeah, a lot of stuff can happen during that year. I sure. So I don't think you should be making that decision right now. What if they're secretly dating <laughs> they are. other people in play? We need to address that. Well, I'm going to. Oh, okay, sorry. But We're... there's plenty of time between now and then. Okay. The first thing you got to do <laughs> is tell the, the friend, the brother. The you brother? Have, you got you you to let him know. You can't be doing shady shit behind his back. No, yeah, yeah, you can't be doing that shit. That's how my... Yeah. Been there, done the, the, that, you know? You've been there and done I'm that? Kidding. Screw you! I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. And if the, the brother really has a problem with it, you, you <laughs> try and talk it through, but... You can't do secret shit. You can't do I, secret I don't like shit. secret shit. You can't do secret shit. You gotta fucking... You gotta, you gotta be a big girl, and you gotta tell your brother. That relationship right there is worth more than any job, career, or dollar bill. Tell your brother. You might not like it at first, but at least he'll respect you and tell you that. Yeah. Maybe he'll be understanding about it, too. You never know. Um, if I was secretly finding out <laughs> that... I'm trying to be optimistic. Okay. Okay. Say you don't have a brother, correct? I do have a brother. You do? Okay. Say your brother was... Okay, I'm going to get kind of dark here, but i got to prove a point to you. Okay. Say your brother was secretly dating your girlfriend. What? (laughs) That's not what it is. What do you mean? That's not what it is at all. What do you mean? He's secretly dating your... Fucking girlfriend, so not only no, your girlfriend's not it. Your it's girlfriend's not fucking it. Your girlfriend's fucking hit that one with you and then hit that one with him and fucking getting fucking sesame twins in that shit. It's not it. That's what do you not, mean that's not, that's not it? it? She's dating the fucking brother's best her it's like me dating Alexis's best friend. Who's Alexis? My sister. Uh, that would be like Abe dating my sister. Yeah, how would that go? Funny you brought that up. <laughs> yeah, funny you brought that up. I don't want to ask your sister a question. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But that's what it would be like, you know. Shady, uh, that, that's how. All right, let me ask you a question. That is how that's like. How, what? My point it is. It wouldn't be like my brother dating Sally. No. It yes, it would. It's, it's called no. sneaking behind your back. I'm not talking about the same difference. I'm talking about that's the same difference. <laughs> no, it's not. No, no. I'm gonna, no, no, no. Time no. out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna convince you, and I'm gonna convince you. What I'm saying to you is, yes, you are correct. It is not the same concept as your brother's dating your girlfriend. <laughs> right. I'm on your side with that. What I'm saying is, it's the same difference. Again, same being that it's your brother doing something behind your back secretly, like she's doing. But the difference it's is, a whole is that another level, bro. I, I, it's it's all secrets. Out. It's all fucking secrets. It, it is all secrets, it's all but secrets. it's a whole nother level. That's a whole nother fucking level. I'm just saying. Sister it's Mike like Twins, think about it. What? Murder? Yeah. All right, that's the fucking extreme levels here. Stacy, tell your brother, please. No, that's all we got. All right. All right, guys, um, continue sending your advice for next week. We do this every Friday. That was a great segment. What did you guys think? That was great. Some yeah. good question. There's some good. Uh, I'm pr- I'm still preaching. Do not fucking keep secrets. All right. And ask your brother. Nick doesn't like secrets. Make sure to continue watching us on YouTube. Blood is thicker than water. Review, Blood's thicker than water. Review on podcasts everywhere you find podcasts. Subscribe. You guys know the deal. Have a great weekend. That's a wrap. Be careful out there, everybody. Be careful. Stacy, better tell him Bike Monday.